All right, so this is the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha B, um, which we've, uh, you know, seeded to developers. We've seeded over 5,000 of these things to developers um, globally. You know, so what I have here is the public version that uh, developers are using to build their applications. So you can see I've got a couple of apps loaded here, uh, apart from the standard ones like the contacts, browser, calendar. So I'm going to focus in on the third-party content and show you how developers have used the concepts of you know, beautiful social integrated applications that flow. Um, so we're going to start with uh, this application called PicStory. Now this is done by a developer based in uh, you know Singapore, and they also have an office in Indonesia. Uh, it's very social applications, BBM connected. Um, you know, you can see that it's a lot of Wi-Fi is a little bit slow, but we, you know we see pictures are coming in. It's a social picture sharing application. And you can see how it loaded up the animations and the way the effects the you know the pictures loaded in with very snappy very fast user interface you can go into any image you can see the flow how the effects come in uh, you know the transitions um, you know you can always do the peak here within the application and look back at the other pictures if you need to uh, you know you can like photos comment on them again very social you can they've also integrated this uh, share framework so if I touch and hold a photo the context menu actually flows in from the right hand side then I can simply drag my thumb up and there's a share feature and I can share to my BBM friends, I can share it through Bluetooth, I can share it to NFC, uh, Facebook, Twitter, anything I want. So this is all integrated out of the box, uh, available on Black Pretend to applications to use. So very amazing and you know very beautiful um, interfaces that are possible with Cascades and with Black Pretend. This is available to third party developers to use. Uh, the other application I wanted to show you is uh, actually done by this um, um, another developer from India. Uh, in fact, he's not a developer, he's a blogger uh, for BlackBerry India. And he just does this very simple music application. And again, he's never built anything. He's not he's, uh, on, a, on a BlackBerry before, he's not a developer, but he, in literally a couple of uh, weeks, was able to do this really interesting um, you know, musical instrument. And this is called the tabla, it's the Indian instrument. So you can you can play a tune here to know what it sounds like. All right, that's the tabla. So you can play that on the screen. It's really fun. And there's different part sections of the instrument that you can play. Similarly, this is the harmonium that's used in a lot of Indian music. Uh, you can see what it sounds like. So the other thing I want to show you is this, the, the concept of an active frame and so when you actually minimize applications they, they don't stop working, they can still work in the background. So for example PicStore you can see there's a bunch of pictures here. When you actually minimize the app um, it starts to rotate the frame and it's, it's actually browsing through the different pictures that we have. Um, Cantana TV is also another interesting application that was showcased today. Uh, this is a, a TV, uh, you know, um, a TV house here in, in Thailand and this is the first on mobile ever and it's first on Blackberry and this is live TV um, which has never been seen before really interesting stuff uh, again the Wi-Fi is not uh, that great here but uh, this is a live stream of uh, the Mnet channel uh, I should stabilize here in a bit once the uh, Wi-Fi goes in but uh, it doesn't seem like the speed is that great right now anyway so we'll skip that one since our Wi-Fi is uh, you know, we've got a bunch of prototypes, you know, we've got partners like Garuda who are working on Cascades applications. Um, you've got, uh, you know, Viki is a very popular, again, uh, application that's, you know, for on-demand content and entertainment. Uh, that was also a showcase that uses the flow concept, uh, you know, very well. It has the cross-cut uh, menus uh, and the navigation menus. Um, again, I'm not going to stream it because, again, the Wi-Fi is not that great. But uh, you can see, like, you know, we've got several partners that have done uh, all these applications uh, on BlackBerry 10, and they're really happy with the experience, and the, the amount of time that it took them to build this was uh, very minimal compared to, uh, you know, other platforms, so that's, that's really good to see. Um, here's another very interesting social media application done by an Australian developer from uh, Melbourne. It's called Conduct. What this is is a Twitter visualizer, um, which is very cool. So if I need to look at 
and see what tweets are going through. So I'm going to type in BB10. So I want to see what are the tweets around BB10 that are being emitted. So it'll actually visualize them. So you can see there's a bunch of tweets that are happening around BB10. I can see the tweets at the bottom. Um, but I want to see what how many tweets about BB10 are connected to Asia, right, or Bangkok, or Thailand. Again, this is a very fluid, very responsive user interface. It's visualizing the tweets that are about BB10 and Asia and Bangkok, and these are all individual, each every stream is an individual tweet. Um, and you can look at the frames per second. It's performing at 44 frames per second. That's pretty impressive uh, as it's visualizing it. It's, it's, it's going through uh, hundreds and thousands of tweets uh, and it'll continue to do that. So again, very beautiful, very visual uh, tools. All are possible with this platform, uh, BlackBerry 10. Um, and that's it.